it will be a tight, tight, hard-fought game. But it will come down to Aaron Rodgers needing to make a difference. And I think that he will, and they'll be able to close the deal. I'm going to pick Green Bay 27 to 24. Looking, throws the left side, got James go. Jones. He laterals it back to Richard Rodgers. Throws it all the way back to Rodgers. He's got nowhere to go with it. Get him down, boys. There's a flag down. Penalty marker thrown on the defense. It's got to be for a face mask. 15-yard penalty. The game will be extended for one play. How about that? Final play of the game. Rodgers rolling to his left. Being chased, slips the tackle, stepping up and lofting it deep down the field. High and deep Come into on. the end zone. And it is caught. Rodgers, a leaping touchdown catch, and the Packers have won. Unbelievable. What's up, everybody? It's Friday, and the other good news is we have quite a show for you today. So much to get into. I can't wait to hear from these two, Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. Molly Karam here with you. Gentlemen, it's the good word. There are no good words. What's oh, up? There aren't. What is up? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on, baby? What's up, Skip? How you doing, man? How you doing? You know, I, How I you must doing? admit, I didn't get much sleep last night. I had bad dreams because of the bad man. Bad dreams, bad man. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. no. Not because of the bad man. Because he's a bad man. Man! Let's talk about Whoa. just how bad he is. <laughs> mm. Yeah, let's talk about it. All right, let's do it. What did Aaron <laughs> Rodgers get for his 32nd birthday, you ask? A Hail Mary answered. What an incredible finish. Richard Rodgers with the walk-off TD. But let's not forget it was a face mask that saved the Packers, giving Green Bay an untimed play at the end of the game. And the rest is history. Stephen A., what was your final reaction there to that final play in the game? Well, listen, I mean, obviously, it was a very miraculous play. There's no question about it. It was a Hail Mary. Uh, it was a miracle. We all know that. Uh, it, it's not like it was anything. But I give Aaron Rodgers a lot of credit because not too many quarterbacks in the NFL could throw the ball legitimately 65 oh. yards in the oh, air. It was about 65 yards yeah. in the air. As He's the only as he man alive. To give God... Go well, ahead. I didn't say that. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm, I'm just it. listening. You, 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 I'm you, just you, you'll have your moment. Yeah, I'm going to have you'll, a whole bunch of moments moment. in a minute. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. All right. Well, well, well you want it now? No. Go ahead. No, go Take ahead. Time. It's your Take night. Time. It's your I'm day. Let, I, your night, your day. They, thank you. <laughs> go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. So here's the deal. Not too many. I said not too many. I didn't say not any of them. Mm. Not too many quarterbacks can throw the ball in the air 65 feet without that much air, 65 yards rather, without mm -hmm. that much air under, without that much air mm -hmm. under the ball and giving their receivers t position and time to get in position for Richard Rodgers to make the leap that he made for the official 61-yard touchdown catch. There's not too many guys could do that, but it was still a miracle. There's no question. What I would like to remind you, however, is that it was the Green Bay Packers who were scoreless in the first half. It was the Green Bay Packers who were down 20 to nothing. And in order to get into that position to win, they outscored the Detroit Lions 20 to 3 the rest of the way to put themselves in position for the Hail Murray to take place. And that cannot be taken away from them. So the win was absolutely lucky. It was clearly a Hail Murray. And it was a lot of luck. It was a miracle that, you know, that we'll never forget in NFL annals. All of that is true. But let's not forget the fact that it was fresh off a 20 to nothing deficit in the second half before Green Bay came roaring back. You know what I'm saying? Julius Peppers stripping Matthew Stafford, you know, Aaron Rodgers throwing, you know, you know, hooking up with one guy after another. The Green Bay Packers did what they needed to do, and then in the end, got assisted by a miracle. It's clearly a miracle. It was clearly luck. I get all of that. But before the luck kicked in, they outplayed the, the Detroit Lions for the better part of about, uh, of, uh, you know, of about 20 to 25 minutes or so. And they deserve credit for that. They won this game. They're back in the thick of things. A miracle at Ford Field, but not for the Detroit Lions. <laughs>
I, I give it up to you. It was a great call by you. I knew you saw it in your mind's eye that it was going to unfold like this from 20 to nothing down to a hail Rogers to Rogers at the end. I don't know about and, the Hail Murray part, yeah, but I get okay. you. You know what? Here's, here's my final analysis here. Aaron Rodgers deserved that last night. I was actually happy for Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers has been so shockingly bad for the last five games, five games, and Aaron Rodgers was, to me, so shockingly bad in last night's first half 17 to 0, 0 for Aaron Rodgers, that I, I just sat back at the end of the game and I thought, you know what? He deserved a, a little luck. And he got a whole lot of luck, gift wrapped as an early either birthday or Christmas present, happy birthday, Aaron, from those Detroit Lions. I could not believe what I was seeing on the final play of the game because let's get this straight. For some reason, Ziggy Ansah, who just might be the best pass rusher in the entire National Football League, was not on the field for the final untimed down. Detroit rushes three, but it does not include Ziggy. I don't know why. I'm, I'm looking like, where, where are you? What are you doing? And then Jason Jones, the left defensive end, immediately lets Aaron Rodgers escape to his right. And we all know Aaron is right-handed. So the only way Aaron is going to have the time and the space and the ability to deliver a long right-handed Hail Mary is if he's allowed to escape to his right. Meanwhile, Coach Jim Caldwell guesses wrong and elects to send in the defensive personnel to defend another lateral play, like the previous one that ended with the face mask that allowed the untimed down. So. In, in that personnel scheme, he's got two guys stationed about 20 yards down the field on the sidelines, and they become completely irrelevant in this play. And also, because of that personnel on the field, he does not have six foot five inch Megatron, Calvin Johnson, in the end zone stationed to defend the jump ball. And for, for that matter, how about six foot four inch Eric Ebron, who can really jump as a tight end? Why didn't he have both of them down there? As, twin safeties to defend the jump ball. But no, Jim Caldwell is looking for another hook and lateral, lateral, lateral play. So he sends in a different group of personnel, which makes this even easier. Now let's get to what happened with arm strength. You say, oh, very, I heard this all last night. Very few could make this. Baloney! Aaron Rodgers gets a 10-yard running head start. It's punt, pass, and kick. It's like the little kids getting a running start and throwing it as far as they can. It was a javelin throw. Any starting quarterback, oh heck, any backup quarterback in the NFL, if you give them a 10-yard running head start, they can throw it that far. I'll, I'll say Nobody on the Cowboys all. could. Oh, please, stop it. They all could. All Nobody those guys on the Cowboys could. could. Oh, please, stop Nobody it. Nobody could. Okay, nope. so, so, nope. okay, so I'm, nope. I'm going to give you that. But here's the point. Here's the point of the throw. It's actually at least two, maybe three yards underthrown. It falls two or three yards short of the scrum that is jumping in the end zone. And Richard Rogers, really? who is supposed to be... Now? Yeah, go look at it. Go look at it, because here's why. Richard Rodgers, who is supposed to be in the end zone boxing out for Devontae Adams, who is the primary jumper and target on the play, Richard Rodgers is not there yet. He's late to the party. He should have been in the end zone. And Richard Rodgers is five or seven yards late to the play. And what happens? Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a football. It's a football. And Richard Rodgers is But it is was about... still three yards deep into the end zone. But no, no, he's jumping back into the... It's just on the edge of the end zone. And no, where the ball, where the ball comes the scrum, down, the scrum about three is yards five deep yards into the end zone. Deep. Go look at it. The scrum is five yards deep. Richard Rodgers I agree with gets that. to go up uncontested. Nobody's going to defend it. He's unchallenged. There's nobody fighting for the football. He gets Aaron to catch Rogers it problem. short of the scrum because Aaron slightly underthrew it. He put a little too much air under it because his primary target was Devontae Adams. He is the leaper on that play, the one who should be able to get his hands on the ball because you're going to box out I don't know a that. Couple of, well, that's what they said. I don't know that. Well, it's just what they said. You've got to, you I mean, got to do your Rogers, homework on Richard these Rogers plays because the that's what they all said after guy. the game. Richard Rodgers is okay. the bigger and taller. I don't care what they said. I know what I oh, saw. Oh, so, so what Richard you saw. Richard Rodgers is the bigger guy okay. that went up well, and got it. You know better than these guys do, so I'll, I'll let you have that. I think so. Okay. I think so on this one. So now, 
w w all I heard was Aaron Rodgers put this team on his back and carried it home in the second half. Without the 61-yard pass at the end of the game, he barely threw for over 200 yards. Green Bay was 3 of 12 on third down last night. Boy, that's scintillating. That's putting that team on your back and carrying it home. I got it. Just a quick mention, may I please? The, the Green Bay defense rose up and took the game over in the second half from a Matthew Stafford whose offense had been explosive, obviously against Philadelphia on Thanksgiving, but even in the first half, it looked explosive. It looked like the dam might completely break two or three different times, and the Packers defense rose up and said, here, and they gave Aaron Rodgers the ball at the 12-yard line on the sack fumble and let him have a real short field touchdown that helped really get them back in that game and held Matt Stafford to a total of six second-half points on two field goals in Detroit. That is big-time good. I, mm -hmm. I thought it was, you know, because I imagined the ending, and I imagined you being in the hotel room there in Bristol and just being completely deflated and depressed because obviously you had picked the Detroit Lions to win this game and you ended up being wrong, not to mention the fact that it came at the hands of Aaron Rodgers. But to point out your accuracies, Detroit, you're absolutely right. They made a bevy of mistakes. All of them you chronicled. Last time I checked, that's not Green Bay's problem. That's the Green Bay's advantage. Last time I checked, every time New England goes up against somebody and they're successful, it's usually because of their efficiencies and because of the opposition's deficiencies against mm -hmm. them. Whenever yep. the Dallas Cowboys are lucky enough to win a game and be relevant, it's usually because of an opponent's deficiencies. So as far as I'm concerned, what you're saying is nonsensical because you could point out a whole bunch of stuff that w w as to why Detroit lost. At the end of the day, they lost. Richard Rodgers actually looked like a tight end last night with 146 receiving yards and eight receptions. Aaron Rodgers did run for a touchdown, okay? Detroit was up 20 to nothing and still found a way to lose. And Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers won. And as a result, they are now tied, but they're still atop the mm -hmm. NFC North because they beat Minnesota when they played them. So that it, it looks pretty good to me. So you can sit up there and talk all the nonsense that you want about Aaron Rodgers, and you can talk about how he didn't knock your socks off. The man won the game, and that's all that matters. We, you know, we didn't sit there and, and, and dissect and dilute exactly how it would happen. We said it would be a close game. You picked Detroit to win. I picked Green Bay to win. I said somehow, some way, Aaron Rodgers would come through at the end, which he did, and that is that. The Green Bay Packers won. Your Detroit Lions lost, and that's that. Just deal with it. I'm sorry that your evening was so depressing. I mean, Skip, I care. I'm here for you. I care. You okay. understand? Because I know that you wanted Detroit to win, because I know you wanted a reason to ridicule and laugh at Aaron Rodgers. You can do that all you want to, but he stands here today victorious. Okay. Period. Before I get to a personal story about how I believe you sabotaged me last night, we need to d discuss. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the story in just can't a second. Wait. Okay, wait. But Molly brought up the face mask. I'm sure most people expected me to be the first one to stand up and say, that was robbery. I don't know what you thought, but I thought it should have been called. Anytime a defensive lineman you. rakes his hand across a quarterback's face mask, even gets a finger on it, in this case, a thumb on it, I'm going to throw that flag. It's just, it's defensive lineman to quarterback, and I didn't have any problem with that at all. Are you, you with me on that? I'm totally with you on that. Okay. And the defender was with you on it, too, because you could see how he reacted the second he grabbed Aaron Rodgers because yeah. he knew what he had done. Right, and he, he said, Devin Taylor, I don't believe I got my, my hand on his mask. When, when you Stop hear something it. like that, eh, I'm not sure that's very convincing. But I, I also thought it could have been a makeup call because I tweeted about this immediately. Remember the previous play to that, the deep ball? that yes. Aaron Rodgers threw to Aberderis. That was blatant interference to me. I'm sorry, here it is. You know, again, the DB just runs headlong into him and doesn't give Aberderis any chance to come back and catch the football. It's a flag, and it should have been a field goal, and it should have been 24 to 23, Green Bay. A lot of people who bet one way yeah. on that point spread would have loved it that way, you know, loved the game to end that way, where somebody else would have covered that spread. But, but to me, it might have been a little bit of a makeup call because that should have ended the game on the play before, in my humble opinion. You good with that? Okay. All now right. tell you, now tell you, I'm, I'm totally I'm, good I'm with here. that. Now, I want to hear your personal story. Okay. Let's go. I, I, I fear, I suspect it involves you. 
I knew this was going to happen. Uh, shortly into the third quarter, when Detroit kicked the field goal to go up 20 to nothing. Quick bit of background. When I first knew my, my Ernestine, beautiful dear Ernestine, about four or five times early in our relationship, during a game on, in which I was rooting for one team or the other, she made the fatal mistake of saying, well, you won this game, or this game's over. And every time she said it, the team I was rooting against rallied and came back and won because it's the ultimate jinx. And she couldn't get it through her head. Just don't do that. You can say anything you want to say about the game. Got a good chance, looking pretty good. Just don't say it's over, okay? So for the last seven or eight years, not once has Ernestine ever said that to me. Not once. So 10.30, she's going to go to bed. It's right after the field goal. And she, as she's saying good night to me, I love you, I love you back. She says, well, this game's over. She said that. And I, as soon as she said it, I said, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm doomed. I, told, I said it. You can ask her if I didn't say it. I just lost this game. And I am convinced that you put her up to it because I know you occasionally chat with her, and I, I like that. I, I, I like how close you two are because sometimes I, I need a buffer. You know, I need somebody to calm her down, and I need somebody to calm you down. So that's... That's a fine phone rule. You? Yeah, yeah, me. So I but, usually but, need somebody to calm but, you down, but, but now, go ahead. Th go ahead. That is true. Thank you. Touche on that one. Right. But I'm convinced right. you called her yesterday and said, if this game is getting out of hand, please jinx it for me, because it had to be you. It just had to be. And I sat there the rest of the game. Go look at my Twitter timeline. I just started tweeting, Green Bay is going to win this game. And the reason I was doing it is because I knew I was doomed. I had been Fatally jinxed. Call in, please. She did it to me. I, I'm not well, kidding about well, well, this. Well, it happens every time. I need to get her on the uh, line. Hello, hello, Molly. Yep. I have a text from Ernestine right oh, now confirming yes, that Skip is that Skip is telling the absolute truth. That's number one. He is right. She and I, I do am. speak time to time. I love her dearly. I love me some Ernestine myself. And and I must confess, I will admit that listen, I didn't know I did no such thing, but I don't blame Skip for thinking that because it is not beyond me to do that. It is exactly something I it would is. do. I just I, didn't do it last night. I didn't do it last night, but I have done that to him in the past. Mm -hmm. I have said, Ernestine, feel free to say this to him. Yes. Go ahead. It's yes. all right. And it was right on cue. <laughs> so I didn't do it last time. night, it's, but it's I have done it literally the, the field goal goes to the upright, and she says, hey, good night, yes. and this game's over. What? <laughs> what? No, it's not. No, no, Molly, Mo Mo Molly, yes. I do stuff like I'll say something to Ernestine and I'll say make sure to say something to Skip. It may not be along those lines, but anything that I think has the potential to ruin his evening and potentially his morning, occasionally I will do that. She knows that. She knows so, that. So for the she whole rest says, of the she game. Says, she calls I, me big guy, and yeah. she says, you're cruel, big guy, you're yeah. cruel. But I didn't do it last night. I really did it. Yeah, but for the whole rest of the game, I just sat there numb, like, like my fate had been sealed. So I'm thinking, how is it going to happen? I thought it would be 21 to 20 Green Bay. Mm -hmm. But then this happened, that happened. I got teased into thinking, well, maybe I got a chance to get out of the jinx here. And I'm thinking, maybe I can unjinx it by saying Green Bay is going to win this game, going to win this game. Tweeting, tweeting. You nope. tried to unjinx I, I it. I tried. I tried as hard as I could. And finally, in the end, <laughs> oh, it had to be on the last I need to untimed get on play right now. after a face mask. It had no. to be that. And it had to be a hail Aaron. It, that's what it had to be. A hail Aaron, Aaron had to beat me <laughs> in the la on the last play of the game because that's what happens when you get jinxed. Now, when Made are you going to let night. go of it? When are you going to let it go? Are you over it now? Because you no. still see it. He's not going to let it go. Emotional. He's not going to let it go. I'm, I'm, I'm serious He's not about let this. It go. And somebody and I are going to have to have a little talk after the uh -huh. show. Somebody and I. Mm. But I do still love you. Don't okay. worry about it. We'll leave it he there. He can't do anything. He can't do anything that Ernestine, all he does is talk. <laughs> yeah. He ain't doing nothing to her. Listen, he ima knows imagine better. how Lions fans feel, Skip. That's oh. all I have to say. Oh.